Amanda. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Hope you're having an awesome day. Thanks for taking some time every day to hang out with me. Today's video, we have the Glossy Box Summer Bag Limited Edition Box Unboxing. I will link my Glossy Box playlist to watch previous unboxings. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and give this video a like. Let's get unboxing. So Glossy Box is $21 a month. You get a mix of full and deluxe size samples in each month. I do have a discount code and link in the description box to get your first box for a dollar. And then Glossy Box throughout the year do these limited edition boxes. I'm really excited because this is my first one. And if you are subscribed to Glossy Box, you can get it for $30. Non-members can get it for $35. And this bag retails for over $140. Thank you, Glossy Box, for sending this my way. First of all, I'm obsessed with this makeup bag. I think it's going to be perfect for travel. And I love the classic Glossy Box pink. It is just such a fun chick color. Ta-da! Before all the items just... <laughs> on the vanity. To kick things off, this is by the brand For All Cares. This is the skin repair that retails for $34. It is enriched with vitamin K and CBD. Nice big jar that is 250 milligrams. This is what the cream looks like. Bet that CBD is giving it that color. Doesn't really have a scent to it. Just put a little bit on my hand. Ooh, that feels really nice. It is a lot thicker than a lot of other creams. I do like a thick cream being a dry skin girl, but it's definitely moisturized and soft. <laughs> you can definitely feel a difference with not having anything on this hand. It's a little bit dry, crusty, gross, but this hand, oh yeah. I definitely think I would use this more at night than in the morning. I use more of a gel moisturizer in the morning. That way my skin still gets like the hydration that it needs. But if I go outside, it's not going to get super oily or greasy. That is something I have noticed, at least for me and my skin, because I can be a little bit more combination in the warmer weather. But at night, I like to have like that thick cream that way, you know, overnight while you're asleep, it's really soaking in, giving your skin the max benefits of the cream. Next by Bumble and Bumble. This is a travel size of the Surf Infusion that retails for $17. A full size retails for $29. It's officially beach weather. Yes, it is. I am so ready for my first trip to the beach. Give your hair some breezy waves with this salt meets oil spray. Very interesting. It's a mineral complex that enhances texture with tropical oils and sea botanicals. Leave behind a soft, touchable finish. Plus the UV filters help protect against sun damage, which I never really thought about protecting my hair from sun damage before, except for when it has been bleached <laughs> and you go in the water and man, does your hair get really gross after that. I don't really use sea salt textures. I never really liked how it worked for my hair. I always felt like they made my hair worse, but now I'm actually taking care of my hair the proper way. <laughs> I definitely want to give it a try and see. I grew up in Florida and I really enjoyed that texture that the salt water didn't give your hair. I don't know why, but once you got home, you needed that immediate shower because like that fun sensation feeling is just gone. I'm very curious to see how well it does to replicate that feeling. Next by Dome, this is the iJewel Chocolate Diamond and it retails for $25. Oh, it's a radiant mousse shadow. Interesting. Use a brush, apply to the center of the lid in liner corners, then blend. Okay. And this is what it looks like. I haven't had the best of luck with liquid shadows, let alone a mousse shadow. I haven't heard of dome before it sounds very interesting i might set this aside for a giveaway for someone that actually might get some use out of it aside from me swatching it and then potentially just tossing it out next by after spa we have a two pack of reusable rounds and it retails for ten dollars yes i have been wanting these so bad because i am trying to step away from buying cotton rounds to apply toner micellar water Perfect. Okay, because I'm going to keep one in the beauty room because I do go through my fair share of my cellar water when I am filming to either cut the crease, clean up makeup, and of course, one for the bathroom because my cellar water is step number one. Toner is a couple steps down, so I cannot wait to have reusable ones. These have been on my list for quite some time now, so I'm going to probably just use up the rest of the cotton rounds that I have and then just be using these strictly straightforward. Next by Sola Notes, this is the, uh, the perfume roll-on and he sent a fig tree flower that retails for $10. I don't know why, but every time I shop for perfume, I always get like super extra with the Et du Parfum. I don't know why. All right, that's embarrassing. That probably should get cut out. I'm excited to see how, I guess I'm excited to smell what the scent smells like. 
Ooh, that's nice. It's not like super florally. It's not super sweet. Like it's potent, but it's not overwhelming. And that's why it's parfum instead of toilet. Originating in Paris, this fragrance is irresistible with its tangy and compelling black currant grapefruit. It's the grapefruit that I'm smelling and fig leaf notes amplifying the delicate fig tree flower and peony heart. I like this. I like this a lot. I haven't purchased a perfume in quite some time, so that was like super exciting to me. I don't go through perfume nearly as fast as I would like to. I definitely go through like the body sprays that you get at Victoria's Secret, Bath and Body Works. Those are my go-tos. So perfume always feel a little bit more fancy. That's a good scent. I am definitely gonna get some use out of that. I haven't gone through a roll-on before. I tend to forget about them. They kind of get lost throughout the beauty room. So this is one I'll probably just add to my bag. You know, you just need like a little fresh up because it's getting hot out. You don't want to smell. Definitely see myself getting through this one for sure. That's going to be a goal of mine. Next by Ico. This is a travel size beach waterproof mascara that retails for $13. Okay. I have never worn <laughs> makeup to the beach before, but I kind of want to test it out because it's beach waterproof. So that means it's gonna combat the sand, combat the waters. As much as I do wanna try this, I'm very intrigued by its claim because of beach, specifically for the beach or the pool, whatever it may be. But in the past, I have had some sensitivities to waterproof mascaras, even though this would be really fun to do. Like, not that I have any beach plans anytime soon. I'm looking at the radar. Not only is the weather going to ruin Memorial Day weekend, but like the following week after that, it's just gonna be a bunch of rain. I don't have a pool. <laughs> Maybe just use the neighbor's pool. Hey, I have to test this out for our video purposes. <laughs> Next by Margaret Dabs London. This is the Intensive Hydrating Foot Lotion. It's a deluxe mini that retails for $8 and a full size retails for $37.50. As much dry skin as I have, dry feet is not one of those. I actually probably will give this to either my mom or Griffin. Maybe Griffin, anytime I get a foot product, I give it to Griffin because he has some nasty feet and that is the T. My feet are the complete opposite. They are super soft and sensitive. I'm always wearing socks, slippers throughout the house because walking on hardwoods really hurt my feet. My feet love the carpet instead, but I don't like the carpet because my head sheds in the carpet. Lose, lose. Next by Codex Beauty. This is the Bia Exfoliating Wash. It's a deluxe mini that retails for $10 and a full size retails for $45. I am really close on using up one of my favorite exfoliators it's by oh no don't let me blank on this right now i see it it's the white packaging with the gomage they're in uh, skin and co that's what it is i love that gomage so much it is such a satisfying exfoliator so since i'm almost up with that bottle i have been trying to rotate which one i want to do next a lot of them i do chemical peels like tony moly and then there's one by essence herb that i got in face tori i love those i just really love love the skin pilling <laughs> I don't know it's just so satisfying seeing it just come off on itself so those are the main ones that I'm using but this will definitely take place of the gomage I think I have like maybe maybe I'm definitely bad at estimating how much more I gotta go but I probably have a month month and a half's worth or less than that so this will definitely take its place I haven't used Codex Beauty yet I have heard a lot of good things about them they have been on my radar so to get them in this bag is super exciting because not only do I need more but it's a brand I've been dying to try for a while now and we get another product by Codex this is the Bia Skin Superfood it's a deluxe mini that retails for $15 and a full size retails for $50 looks like these two are gonna be going hand in hand we're gonna exfoliate wash the face and then we're gonna follow with some moisturizer i do want to try a little bit oh it's nice and sealed very nice all right i got some on my shirt so sweet this is what the cream looks like i love how lightweight it is this would be good for the morning okay so we got like our morning cream nighttime cream so after using both of them you can definitely see that they're both nice and moisturized hydrated and they're both smooth which i love really excited to put this duo to the test overall i'm pumped and excited for this bag first of all as i mentioned i love this bag i'm gonna be reusing this bag over and over and over again it's gonna be great to help me track you know some decluttering some empties using up some sheet masks so it's gonna get a lot of use out of that there's a bunch of new skincare in here that I'm just so excited to give a shot a lot of these brands are very new to me like the only ones I'm truly familiar with are Bumble and Bumble and Ico which I have used some of their products in the past really love those brands so it's great to try products that I haven't seen from them
one yet. And then we have a bunch of new products and brands to try out that I don't even know where to begin. These rounds, and I think the perfume are my favorite because I've been needing these and then I'm just obsessed with the scent. It is just so nice. It's not so overwhelming. I'm very sensitive to scents, but every time I've been lifting up a product since applying it, I get like a little whiff and I'm like, oh, it just smells so, so good. I definitely think it's worth that $30, $35. It's very similar to like those Ulta, Sephora favorites that you see with all those different brands and products as well. So I definitely find that this is Glossy Box's version. Even though I did receive it in PR, it's something I would have purchased. I saw them advertising it on their Instagram. I was very excited for it. And I did miss out on some of their previous limited edition boxes. So I was planning on picking up this one, but I did get an email saying that they were sending it my way. So I'm super grateful for that. I would love to know, do you guys plan on picking up this bag? What was your favorite product that was in the box? Have you tried any of these products or brands? Let me know your experience below. And did you guys get May's Glossy Box? I would love to know your thoughts as well in the comments below. And let me know, are you guys looking forward to June's box and the next Glossy Box limited edition box? Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And if you don't, I appreciate your view anyways. And I'll see you in the next video.